Well, here at the Commander's Headquarters, draft day here with Lake Lewis, uh, Commander's Insider, and ABC News. Well, Lake, the Commander's pick at number 16, they get a cornerback as far as Emmanuel Forbes. Were you surprised about this pick? Because really, I wanted offensive linemen, but they were already picked by the time the Commanders came to their pick. Surprised right there with Emmanuel uh, Forbes, and the Commanders like him. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think most of us were a little surprised. Not because Emmanuel Forbes is not a good corner, because Donna, he is. I mean, he's a ball hawk. He's a guy that's a turnover machine. And, that, and frankly, that's something that this defense hasn't had in the secondary in, a, in quite some time. So... Hopefully he can fill that void. But I think the fact that like Christian Gonzalez and some of these guys, Joey Porter Jr., these guys were sitting there. Um, Christian Gonzalez got picked right after, pick after. Emmanuel Forbes. Absolutely. And we were all looking like, wow, this guy is bigger, stronger. Mm -hmm. But the commanders like as far as Emmanuel, they said that he's long. Martin Mayhew talked about that in the mm -hmm. press conference. And he's tough. That, and, and Martin Mayhew is a cornerback, a former cornerback. And, and, and he's he a knows cornerback that. that didn't have a whole lot of size. But yeah. He's tenacious. So I think he sees maybe a little bit of himself in, in, in Forbes. And then the other thing is that, you know, they both, we just literally came out of the press conference and they both said, him and Ron Rivera, this guy did it at, in the SEC. You and know, he had numbers too. Absolutely. He did it in the SEC. I, I, I retweeted a tweet that uh, a pretty good corner by the name of Jalen Ramsey actually tweeted out that Washington hit a big home run with this. You know, he said that this kid's really good. So... Look, you know, I, I know a lot of fans were on social media a little disappointed. This is a really good cornerback, folks. We're talking about an All-American. We're talking about a guy that did it in one of the best conferences in football. And 14 turnovers is 14 turnovers. I mean, anyone that can step in and, you know, take six to the house on top of that. Yeah. That's saying a lot for this kid, you know, with his IQ as far as how to get to the ball. So I, I think it's a position that they needed to fill and they have. They filled it with a playmaker. Hopefully that can translate to the next level. I was just getting ready to say that, like, it's not like they didn't need uh, a cornerback for mm -hmm. this team because going into the draft, offensive lineman was one of the areas this team was looking at, and cornerback and probably linebacker was uh, two other positions. So they got a hit a home run, I believe, yeah. but nobody is going to know that until he gets on the field. But this kid has 10 siblings, and I can understand that because, like, yeah, I, I have 10 siblings also. <laughs> But, I mean, the character of this guy, when they speak about him, they, they like everything about him. And Honestly, they didn't really care too much about my weight because I can play ball. That's all that matters. And, you know, it just it never affected my game. So it really didn't play a factor. Well, it's a really good feel for routes and route combinations. There's great awareness and coverage. You can see where everybody is. Um, and, and then you can track the ball really well down the field, you know. Um, and that's, that's a difficult thing to do. I mean, you're running with your back to the ball, you got to turn around and locate it. He does a great job of doing that, which probably comes from him being on the offensive side of the ball when he was younger. Um, so all those things come into play. But the guy just has a really good feel as a corner. And he's got really good length for press coverage as well. Yeah. And you think about uh, Kendall Fuller in his, uh, it's in his last year of his contract. Yeah. So they great needed point. to fill this position with a with the cornerback so as much as you uh commanders fans may be disappointed in the pick, pick i think they hit a home run right here because they have been doing pretty good in the draft in the last few years and everything so you know we're going to learn more about him in the weeks to come rookie uh mini camp and all of those things but again maybe our faces were surprised at first because uh christian gonzalez was right there after him yeah. But, but this was a class, like, that it was strong in the cornerback position, right? Mm -hmm. The guy from Banks from Maryland, your guy Porter from Penn State. Banks, I know. Banks went to the Giants. The, well, 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 so look, <laughs> wow. everybody wanted corner. I know Lake is a little disappointed in his guy from Penn State, but do you think Emmanuel Forbes is better than your guy? You know, they both do some things really well. And I mean, I think all four of these corners, I mean, even Witherspoon was a great corner. Obviously, he went early. I just think that this was one of the best cornerback classes in a long time. And I think whoever you took, you're, you're getting a guy that's going to be penciled in as a starter uh, or have the opportunity to compete. So if you're the Giants, you got a good one in Banks. You know, Christian Gonzalez, I mean, listen, um, all these guys can ball and they can play. But the one thing that this kid here has over those guys is that he has way more picks and turnovers. And 
14, have to say, right? Didn't he 14, have 14? 14 and 6 were taken back to the house. Pick 6. Listen, if, He's you can, aggressive. if you can do two or three of those, you know, in the NFL, you're winning. So I think for Washington, they clearly wanted to have some more playmakers on, on an already really good defense. But that defense, you know, needs to force turnovers. So now, you know, think about a defense that's forcing turnovers. That makes yeah. life easier for Sam Howell now on offense. So hopefully all this stuff plays into, you know, consideration when they made that pick. Day number two, what are you looking for? Because the offensive linemen gone the best ones anyway and that's an area that they still did not address but what are you looking for in uh, uh day number two well i think they're gonna clearly have to look at some linemen um if they can grab one or two you know obviously that provides depth i'm not sure if these guys will be penciled in as starters yeah um but they did tell us just now that they expect to get two more starters out of this draft so i do think that you know one of those could be a linebacker you know there's some there's some linebackers that are out there so i think in the second round if i'm washington I think you're going to look at it, uh, you know, a, a linebacker, and I also think they're going to look at a guard, not yeah. so much a tackle on offensive line, but a guard. So yeah, they, there's some guys out there. You heard it right here, Lake Lewis, Commanders Insider at ABC News. Yes. <laughs> and how can they uh, catch up with you, Lake? Uh, you can go on my social media. I mean, you don't even have to. He don't even have to say it. I mean, you, you can, can just go chat. on my social media. I'm a little hurt because my blue check mark was taken off Twitter, but <laughs> you can go on there still. It's Lake Lewis, and then on Instagram, where I, I am certified on there, verified. Um, you can go on Instagram at Lake Lewis Jr., Facebook Lake Lewis Jr., and then of course you can go to SportsJourney.com. So it's a lot of stuff out there. I didn't even have a blue thing on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how to get I know, it and I'm everything. Not for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I won't be doing that. <laughs> so we're out of here. Uh, day number one, uh, the NFL draft. Watching the Commanders pick a cornerback, Emmanuel Forbes from Mississippi State. We'll see you on day two.